Every reasonable Utahn celebrated when Jason Chaffetz unexpectedly announced his retirement. Our upcoming special election is a surprising opportunity to choose his replacement. Will we choose someone more extreme or more reasonable than Chaffetz? Utah's 3rd Congressional District is one of the most Republican-leaning districts in the country. Chaffetz beat Democrat Stephen Tryon by 47 points in 2016. The Cook Political Report ranks his district as the 16th most Republican district in the country. That's more Republican than all four high-profile districts that have had special elections this year. And the Democrat lost in all of them. It would require a nearly 50-point swing for a Democrat to win this special election. If you want to send someone more reasonable than Chaffetz back to Washington, the only election that matters is being held August 15th, the Republican primary. Whoever wins this election will win the general election in the fall. The candidates are Chris Herod, who's endorsed by Ted Cruz, Tanner Ainge, who wasn't registered to vote in Utah when he declared his candidacy, and John Curtis, the widely popular mayor of Provo. How do they compare to Chaffetz? Check out their websites in the links below. In order to participate in the Republican primary, the election that will select Chaffetz's replacement, you have to officially affiliate as a Republican by August 8th. The good news is that affiliating with a political party in Utah is very easy. You can change political affiliation at any time. And you can do it online in literally 60 seconds. Literally. Remember, whoever wins the primary on August 15th will win the general election in the fall. Do you want to send another extremist to represent Utah?